Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming Guitar Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix encoding overloaded in OBS Studios. So we've all tried to record a pretty CPU intensive game using OBS Studios while having a pretty slow CPU. I'm literally using a i5-650 which has a speed of 3.20 gigahertz which it can be really bad when it comes to trying to play CPU intensive games and then also trying to record at the same time. It can cause a lot of problems and one of those problems is encoding overloaded well today i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that and if you guys end up enjoying this video please make sure to subscribe like and turn notifications and now let's go and get to the video okay so let's go ahead and get started so if you go into obs studios and you go to settings advanced you'll see process priority up at the top now this is pretty much what will fix any type of recording lag. Now I will go ahead and say that this um, using this method will not fix in-game lag. And if anything, it might actually cause in-game lag. Now, if you have a decent GPU, like a anything, any G type of GTX or maybe a GT, GT 1030 like I'm using, then you, you might not get any in-game lag, but if you have process priority at high, then you most likely will, which is why I, would say just use above normal I prefer above normal and if you want to use high or even normal then you can now never ever go to below to below normal or idle if you go into any of those you, you, your OBS is gonna lag even on something that usually works for your PC so make sure that you put process priority on above normal now this that that was the main thing now now i want to go over some things that will actually um prevent you from even having to go here now this might not work which is probably this might even be something that you've already been trying and what you want to do is you want to go to video and you want to turn make sure that this is at least on 30 or 24 common fps values downscale filter you want to make sure that you have this on linkzos or uh the other one i forgot what it was called but um the downscale filter i i've never had any problems with it it has never made uh, my recordings lag most of the time it is the output scaled resolution this is what you would probably want to put to lower this is what your video will get output as your base canvas resolution is it doesn't matter at all this is just what your game resolution is at don't touch this or at least make sure that it's at what your actual game is if you're playing it full screen then it will be your monitor resolution if you're playing it at a lower resolution and windowed or borderless when a window then you, you you can change that however you chose the game resolution to be now output scaled resolution is what you want to focus on put this at honestly i would put it at 900p or or 720p that's what i usually upload or output my videos at when i'm playing a game because you don't have to worry about lag at all now that's pretty much it for videos now or video settings now you want to go to output settings this is where um, you're going to need to focus the most because encoder if you don't put this at software x264 uh, unless you're using a nvenc encoder which that's only for gtx or higher um, gpus then you can just put it in nvenc of course but then if you're if you are using like a gt1030 or anything lower or like a intel um gpu or uh a intel integrated gpu then you would uh, be using x264 now most people should have a x264 low cpu usage preset and i would prefer to use this and i would say tell anyone to use this because this is the best preset or encoder for recording any type of game or just recording your desktop like i'm doing right now and recorded quality is something else that could cause in-game lag. I've tried a lossless quality, never try, because it, first of all, it causes lag in-game a lot, and it, it just causes a really large file size. I would keep this on indistinguishable and um, high quality. But that's pretty much it for this video. I, I told you guys that this was going to be a really short video mainly because there's not much to talk about. It's just straightforward. Go ahead and go into advanced and then process priority and then above normal or high. So if you guys ended up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.